Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I tension method blow dry. Please do note that this is going to be just how I do the tension method. It's not going to be a blow out tutorial, though of course you can use this technique to get a blown out look, but I'm just doing it just as a way to stretch my hair before moving into my next style. I typically use this method in the wintry months, that's when it becomes a bit more frequent for me, but I do also use it when I'm in a rush as well. So I thought I'd share that with you guys and I'm yet to have any kind of issues or damage from using this technique. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm starting off on clean, damp hair. I usually wash my hair in quadrants, if not sections of six. So I'm just breaking those sections down into more manageable pieces so that's easier to blow dry. I'm going to start by applying the Maui Moisture Dry and Damaged Hair Mask. It actually doubles as a leave-in conditioner, so that's what I'm using as for that purpose. I'm going to apply that to my hair to infuse and impart moisture into the hair. It's absolutely essential to make sure your hair is nice and moisturised before blow drying, otherwise you'll find that your hair starts to frizz and revert because it's looking for moisture in the air. So I'm just applying extra to the ends and really working that through my hair. I'm going to be using the Remington Silk hair dryer. It's got three heat settings and two speed settings. It is essential to have varying heats and speeds, especially if you've got natural hair or curly to kinky hair, because that's a really great way to make sure you're not using too high of a heat on your hair. And this particular one also has tourmaline, which is essential to keep hair smooth and frizz free, which is exactly what you're going for when you're blowing your hair out. So as you can see, I take the sections, grab it and run it through, almost using my fingers as a comb. So I'm pulling down with the hairdryer in a motion like so. And as you can see, I'm using a concentration nozzle to really direct the heat. Once I'm satisfied that it's got a nice amount of tension when I've used my fingers as a comb, I will then go ahead and pull my hair taut and then run the hair dryer up and down the length of my hair, just to further stretch it out. Once I'm satisfied with it and I think it's dry or it's as stretched as I want it, I'm actually going to then infuse a little bit more moisture using this moisturizing oil cream from Modi and this is going to help seal and lock the style in. And as I say, I'm not using this to do a blowout look, I'm just using it to stretch my hair out. So I'm just going to apply that and twist my hair into a bantu knot. This will keep my hair nice and smooth and stretched, but also keeps that moisture and shininess to it. <laughs> So I go ahead and I do the same thing. So I'm taking medium sized sections, applying my leave-in conditioner to infuse that moisture. You don't know. Bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These body baby. And then using the concentration nozzle, I get quite close to my hair and I flow it through using my fingers as a comb to pull down. Bad girl, make you want to this, nah, nah. And when I'm satisfied with the stretch, I run the hair dryer down the length of my hair in a downward motion. This is just a great way for me to get the ultimate stretch, but I do like to keep a little bit of texture to my hair. I then apply Modi's hair cream, so a moisturizing oil cream just to lock everything in. And then I will twist my hair or put it into bantu knots. This really helps keep the stretch. I go give you all that more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This will not be private show. Your friends, they tell you, say, I beat nobody. 
Been searching all around, but I found nobody. Nobody, nobody. Call on me, call on me. One section done. Now time for the other. So I do the same thing throughout all of my hair. So as you can see, this is what my hair looks like when it's been freshly washed and out of the bantu knot. So it has a little bit of stretch to it. I'm applying that moisturizing leave-in. You want something really nice and light and watery based that's gonna penetrate nice and quick, but still creamy enough to really infuse the moisture. Me I no go lose control. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one will be private show. Tell me, no. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all. And I'm taking that section of hair between my thumb and forefinger and pulling it downwards, almost using it as a comb. And I'm feeling free to let go of it every so often so that it can retract again. And when I'm happy with how stretch it is, I will then go ahead and use the concentration nozzle right the way down my hair, not moving my hand, keeping that nice and taut. Of course, if you want it super straight, go ahead and hold it taut for that little bit longer, though I am just using it as a way to stretch my hair. So one last time, you can see on that last back section there, I'm applying the concentration nozzle to really make sure that I've got all of the strands. And now I'm working on stretching the hair as opposed to just drying it like I was initially doing. look at that length <laughs> but it just provides the perfect basis for me if I want to go into a braid out or any other style as you can see this is like 15 minutes later. My hair has held the shape of those bantu knots really, really well. So of course I can just comb through those and wear a blown out look, but I usually just do this because it gives me the best straight stretch. I prefer bantu knots over everything if I want a real nice stretch to my hair. And if you follow me on Instagram, this is what the final outcome was. Big fluffy Bantu knots. But of course you don't even have to take those down. Um, I use this now to go into a protective style. So that is how I tension method blow dry without any heat protectant. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.